Good afternoon. I'm out riding around and thought I'd stop by here for a moment and make this quick little video. The name of the statue here is called Storytime. I'm about to tell you a story. How about I start a business and millions and millions of people are clamoring for this business so I know it'll do, it'll do well. I'll cater to them and I'll have uh, advertisers will pay big money, big, big money to cater to them because these people don't have a voice and I can be their voice and I will make a lot of money doing it but let's just say years down the road I decide to change things up a little bit you know like Coca Cola did that didn't go too good for them neither when they changed their recipe they had to go back to what they were doing what am I talking about Fox News was started as a news organization back at a time when conservatives had no voice the mainstream news and CNN and NBC and CBS and ABC, they all leaned left, some of them more noticeably than others. And along comes Fox News and they take up the slack, fair and balanced. And they did, they had liberals on their talk shows and they were balanced in the news reporting. But recently, they've changed the formula up. Let me give you a couple of uh, four examples, okay? Now, I don't know what she said or did because I didn't watch the video. Oh, first off, let me back up a little bit. I don't watch Fox News. I haven't watched them in years. But that's because I cut the cable. So I don't have cable, I can't watch them. So, you know, I get my news and other sources and have for years. So they're not losing me per se because they hadn't had me in years. Maybe they'll lose you. Matter of fact, I hear they are losing you. So what have they done that's so egregious? In their news reporting, they have started to parrot what the mainstream news says and does. For instance, whenever the mainstream news says that Trump and conservatives are uh, challenging and making assertions, but with no proof, the proof is working itself out. There's been no proof of any crookedness or any this or any that. The proof is there. Now, I'm not saying it's as widespread as uh, some of my conservative friends say it is, or that it is as deep, or as many that it would make a big difference. I just don't know. I have no way of really knowing that. But I do know I don't dismiss stuff just like that, just because they believe it. So that's one thing they've been doing in the news reporting. Now, in the editorial section, um, I don't know what she did. It was so egregious. But Judge Janine Perro was a conservative a commentator on Fox News got fired last week now honestly I didn't watch her rant I don't know what it was about even though I can probably guess but unless she called for open violence I think they stepped in it this time also when the press secretary for Donald Trump was making the case and laying out things that Democratic Party is doing how the votes aren't being counted correctly and she was laying out her case she was not done yet all of a sudden the news commentator, whose uh, name escapes me right now, just cut away and said, look, I can't show this in good conscience because blah, 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 blah. You know, basically, he didn't believe it, so he wasn't going to show it. Well, she was in the middle of laying her case out. But you don't want to give her a voice. Another thing news did that is not so egregious, but it was the first thing that grabbed people's attention um, uh, last week was when they called the election. Well, they started calling states first. I don't know if they were trying to get the scoop or what, calling states for Biden when it hadn't even been decided yet. Honestly, there are still some states out there that have not been decided. They have been called. And Fox, want, I guess they want to get the scoop because they were the first to, y'all, mosquitoes. I'm scratching at mosquitoes. They're kind of around here. Um, so, so they're calling, they're one of the first newscasters or news uh, networks to call uh, Arizona, I think it was, and maybe a few other states for Biden. Well, this doesn't sit well with conservatives. You know, let the votes come in for you start, you know, saying so and so won and, and you know and Trump won or Trump didn't win. Now, to be fair, I don't know if they would be upset if they'd done that, you know, with Biden, uh, uh, against Biden. You know, just to be fair, I don't know if they would or wouldn't. But I know that if you're going to cater to a certain group, you should cater to that group. Uh, not lose your credibility doing it now. I mean, there's a balance here. But um, Fox, you've really screwed up. Defund Fox is what people are saying. Well, what's that? what else is out there? See, before, 
before there was no place else to go to but now there are many other places um, I have started watching one America news network and I'm paying for it I think it's five dollars a month but it's a good news site then there's Newsmax you can get it on an app you can watch it on your I, I watch on Roku uh, it's not a pay site. The only thing I don't like about Newsmax is it's all politics. It's it's not really uh, news like if an earthquake happens or or peace treaties worked out or something like that. They, they don't they don't talk about that. And that's probably the one thing that um, that's what made me look at Once American News Network. But uh, yeah, Fox, you're chasing people away. You can keep doing that, and you can go to the way of CNN, which is a bottom feeder. You are on your way to becoming a bottom feeder. Uh, so far, I don't think anybody notable has quit Fox News. You know, in the commentary, like Hannity. Um, I don't, I don't watch Hannity, but um, it would be a big deal if he quit. I don't, I like to see that. It maybe that sent a strong message to Fox. But anyway, there's other news sources out there. You should go find them, because Fox don't want your business. Hey, y'all have a good day. Story time.